All right, in this video, we're going to talk about inconsistent systems of linear equations. And what we're doing, really, is we're just trying to determine if a system has no solutions. Um, again, what we're trying to do is we're going to use elimination uh, by addition to approach these. Again, there's certainly other techniques to solve um, these systems of equations, but this is what we'll pick on for this problem. So, true or false, the following system of equations is inconsistent. We've got 2x minus 2y plus 6z equals 10. 3x minus 5y plus 12z equals negative 6. 4x minus 4y plus 12z equals 18. So, uh, one thing you can do is just simply start trying to eliminate one of your variables. Uh, just, you know, the normal way you'd go about doing elimination by addition. I'm going to look at the first and third equation. So notice we've got 2x minus 2y plus 6z equals 10. We've got 4x minus 4y plus 12z equals 18. Well, for example, if I wanted to try to get the, uh, the x's to cancel out, I could multiply my first row by negative 2, and we would have to do that to both sides. And then what will we get? Well, our, our first row would become negative 4x, positive 4y, negative 12z, and then on the right side we would have negative 20. If we take our original uh, second equation, we've got 4x minus 4y plus 12z equals 18. And notice if we now do our elimination by addition, if we add those together, we get 0x plus 0y plus 0z, which says we're basically just left with 0 on the left side, equals, well, negative 20 plus 18 is negative 2. So this says, hey, uh, 0 equals negative 2, which is clearly uh, not the case. So this kind of, uh, this statement, this nonsense, this clearly not true statement, it's trying to tell you something. And what it's trying to tell you is, it says there is no solution, is what that means. And if there's no solution to your system of equations, we do call that an inconsistent system. It doesn't make sense somehow, okay? So, so I would say, yes, this is true. This, uh, this following system of equations is inconsistent. One way, um, in this, you know, this, this isn't exclusive, but one way you can look at it and determine that a system is inconsistent, and this is basically the trick I used. Notice that the uh, third row is a multiple almost of the first row. I mean, if you multiply the first number by 2, we'll get the, you know, we'll get the 4x. If we multiply the negative 2y by 2, we get negative 4y. If we multiply 6z by 2, we get 12z. So if I multiply the first equation by 2, everything matches up until on the right side. If we multiply 10 by 2, we don't get 18. And if, if everything matches up except for the numbers, Basically, what's going to happen when you do your elimination by addition, you're going to get some uh, nonsense statement. So something like this, I could just look at, make that realization, and be like, oh, there's not going to be any solutions to this system of equations. Therefore, it would be inconsistent.